Yeah, I'm showing you guys some changes that have been made to uh, King TV's Argo gimbal and also their K Mini 3. So the original batteries look like this here. And this is a battery for the Mini 3 and this is for the Argo. In order to charge these, they can kind of give you this little RC charger here and had a little balancing plug, uh, which was very, you know, there's a thin cable here and you had to plug it into the side of your battery and then hook this up to the wall. Uh, and, and it just gave you very, very basic readouts. Um, so the changes they made was they came out with these new battery cases. And I believe this is gonna be the new standard now. So every gimbal that you get, the Argo with, or the Mini 3 is gonna have this type of battery case. So what it is, is it's just an empty case. As you can see that the, uh, it looks very similar to the, this is the Mini 3 here. The Argo looks very different. Um, but these cases are empty. And what they let you do is put 18650 cells in there. So these batteries right here, these Samsung type 18650 uh, battery cells, uh, this one says Samsung, so hopefully it's real Samsung, um, are pretty much the same batteries that are in laptops. Uh, I believe they're in the Tesla car. So these are very, very popular right now. 18650 batteries you can find just about anywhere and they are um, really, really good quality batteries. And the fact that you guys can get multiple and uh, just swap them out means that now you don't have to buy several of these proprietary batteries. So if you guys wanted to run your gimbals for an even longer period of time, you can find these 18650 batteries um, fairly inexpensive. So uh, you can get more of these. So they'll also include a new charger that supports charging multiple types of batteries besides 18650. So this is cool. Um, and it looks much more capable. It has a display that shows the individual cells and their charging status. Uh, so this is great. Um, they include this. It also has a cigarette lighter adapter if you guys want to charge in your car. Now, the thing you have to understand about putting the 18650 batteries in these cases is that you don't want to leave them in your case if you're just storing the battery away for a long period of time. Uh, what happens is because I believe they have like a, a, a meter here, or a monitor that is going to cause a small, tiny parasitic draw on these batteries. Um, what will happen is if, if these batteries, actually any battery, okay, so most batteries have some sort of built-in protection. And if the voltage gets too low, then the battery won't take a charge anymore. Um, and so you basically have to replace the battery. Uh, Hopefully, you know, it's kind of, I guess it's kind of detecting if it's a damaged cell, if the voltage is below charging level. Um, so you don't want your batteries to get drained down too far. Now, if you look online, there are ways to recover batteries. Um, you know, you basically throw it on a different type of charge, like a, a nickel metal hydride or something, and then uh, you give it a little bit of boost, get it up to safe voltage, then you can put it back and recharge them as normal. Now, that's if you really have to um, you know, save a battery. That's the same for like RC cars as well. Um, it happens to those types of batteries and it's, it's really just built in protection. So again, what you don't want to do is just discharge any battery below its, uh, minimum charging voltage. Uh, so they recommend you take your batteries out of these cases. If you're going to store your gimbal away for, you know, a number of days or weeks or something, if you're just shooting for the day and you want to throw them in perfectly fine. But if you're going to leave it for a couple of days or a week, you probably want to take them out. So always take them out whenever you can and uh, charge them up as much as possible. And uh, if I didn't mention, they do still have the battery meters in here. So as you put the batteries in, you could still see the percentage of how much battery life is left. And to power up your gimbals is going to be the same thing. Once you insert them, you'll have to double press the battery to uh, initiate uh, the charge. So let's put these batteries in here. So this one is... The Mini 3 will take three batteries and the Argo will take four batteries. So we need negative side down here or negative side up. All right, let's throw this on. And just as normal, you would press the button once to check the battery meter and then press and hold to power on the gimbal.
There you go. So our Mini 3 is fired up right now. Obviously, I don't have a camera on here, so it's not going to work as well as it should. But uh, there you go. It is powered up with the new battery system. So anyways, that's a look at the changes made to the Argo gimbal and the K-Mini 3. Um, you get new battery cases with the 18650 batteries, which is great because if you guys need to go out somewhere where you can't charge all the time, you can just carry a whole bunch of these cheap batteries with you. Uh, when you're out in the field and then just swap them as you need. Uh, just remember though, you got to take them out of these cases because these cases have a small parasitic draw that will bring the voltage down and the chargers may not detect the safe voltage and just consider them dead. Uh, so make sure you take them out so they don't get drained. Anyways, if you guys have any questions, comments, um, anything at all, hit me up on the comments below or on the blog, cheesycam.com.